this is the best friend we're talking about. Yeah, so you get a side view of the rock, exactly. and then you get the mountain. Mr. Benjamin Otega and Mr. Ossinaro, Lombok, Indonesia. You can see on the remix that we have some nets over here that you can... Everything that we do on this side is gonna be the same on this side. We're back and it's time to go through the drawings on the computer, get all of the adjustments down digitally instead of just my rough stuff last time on the sketches. And then we can send it straight to the architect and they can start working on making the adjustments more correctly and getting them into a drawing and to our renderings. We are going to be working in the DWG file, which is, an, um, in my case, an AutoCAD file. And in this one, we can actually do proper adjustments with dimensions and everything within the computer. And let me just add on really quickly that I am no expert in using AutoCAD. We also want to explode this one. You, you turn every single line in the group to a singular line instead, so you can take away or adjust just that stuff. Let's see what we have on the drawings. Last time we did changes in the hallway. We did changes in the bedroom, kitchen, a bit at the pool uh, that's coming into the house. So we're gonna do some bigger stuff on the end of the houses, on the roundness, to make it a bit simpler, but also more efficient. So in the hallway, we wanted to have some sort of bench uh, where you can actually hang your, hang your jacket, uh, place your flip-flops. The bench is usually around 400 millimeters in depth. And then from that point, we do it maybe two meters. Two meters is gonna be perfectly good amount of space. We have some storage. So here we have the bench. We have the picture from last time where I showed a sample of how it could be able to look like. So then we work ourselves down. We have the pool that we wanted to change. And we wanted to make this a bit wider. So what we can do, we can just drag this point out here, 450 millimeters, and then we do the same on the other side. We are taking a decision that we want these sliding doors be uh, opening from one side to the next, not from the middle. So instead of having it like it is on this side with two double doors gonna open like this, we're gonna have be able to just pull one and take all of them with us. That's gonna once again create a bigger opening and hopefully push them in a bit inside of the wall, which is gonna make even bigger opening. What we can do then is mark all of these and we should be able to do a mirror function. We just take something that is in the middle of the room, do it like that. That will create as big opening as possible for us. So then we can cross that off the list. Let's jump into this kitchen and the kitchen is sort of like sticking together with what we're gonna do in the bedroom because we want a bigger uh, bathroom to be able to have more space in there. And by that, we're gonna kick up the walls a bit so we make this uh, line. So this line that we have here, we want to create here as well. So now it looks like we're gonna have a massive entrance with really much space here. But the plan now is to take this one, copy that from that line, and then extend these ones. This means that we wanna explode, we wanna remove this one. This one we're also just gonna move away for now until we know what to do with them. Closet, same thing, it's not gonna be there, but we're gonna want to use the objects to just move them around and create what, we, what we're looking for. This means that we're gonna get this wall out here, this wall out here, we're gonna go around here, down in the corridor, and then come down to a more open space. In the drawings last time we showed that there are some window slots here that's gonna light up this hallway. And then here we want to have the door to the bedroom. So let's rotate that one. <laughs> Once again, we're just doing something to show the architect what we're aiming for. And then from that point, they will be able to do it more precise. So then what we can do, we can do the kitchen. Start the kitchen here. We're gonna go 650 in depth. That's 100% gonna cover everything. Let's 
Something that we also thought about is doing a kitchen island that opens up, opens up a bit. Extend that one 650, that's 250, no, 900. 650, 50, 700, yeah, 250. Maybe to work from here on the countertop, and then there's gonna be that's a kitchen island, classic one. So we're gonna have some bar seats on this one. Following the roundness, opening up towards the center of the pool, which is the center of the house. Which it's, uh, yeah, it's gonna be great. We're just gonna make all of the changes on one side of the house in this drawing. We don't need to put the time in to do the other side because it's just gonna be reflected on what the bedroom is gonna look like. We're doing one and then it's easier to jump over like, oh, okay, this is how it was before. Let's do it on this side. So I think we need to talk about the big stuff that we changed on the outside. As you can see, we have this big roundness all the way around the house here. Massive roundness. It looks super cool and it's super great, but it's also, it's gonna be a bit costly to make it in that way. But it's also quite inefficient of the square meters. So what we're planning to do in this case, from the top point of the outer radius, of the outer circle, we wanna go in the same angle as these walls, go straight in. That means that all of this that is on outside here, be trimmed away. So this will sort of create the new outer line instead. So everything in between here is gonna be squared out. So you see, if we zoom out, the big roundness here, but what we're gonna do is that we take that roundness and then we go straight in. And we get more square meters here and easier, efficient area to use. Okay, so now we, as you can see, just made these quick changes. So if you look on this one here, we have a big roundness and we changed that to go straight in instead. The shape, we have this net as we talked about in the front on each side of the, of the house. And on this one, you can see how, like, how tiny it gets and it's like, it's not gonna be usable in any way, which means that we get a bit more decking on this side as well. Uh, and compared to this one. We are gonna make the bathroom more square. You can see on this side, it's angles everywhere and it's, not, it's hard to get it nice and it also is a bit tiny. This is the plan to make that. And when you are in Indonesia, in this climate that they have there, we want to be able to go outside, feel like the heat and the tropical vibe of it and shower sort of like outside, but still protected. So we have this picture of Villa Gem in, in Tampa Hills. We have a big stone and the outdoor shower but you have this roofing and some nice cladding and nice interior that's make it look really tropical and really, really vibey and nice. We want to have that feeling as well because we love it. It's just that the toilet si uh, section and stuff like this we want to have inside. stone that you're standing on out there and doing a shower so we take the shower head just for the architect to understand what we're trying to do here little door we have a glass door here somewhere there we have it then we can rotate it a bit to have it open like that so the plan is that you go out from the regular door from the bathroom you come out to be able to have the shower outside you're gonna do the walk through closet that we're gonna have we don't have space to have a full room with walk-in closets, so we're doing a walk-through instead, which is gonna be, in my and Benny's uh, idea, it's gonna be perfect for what we're looking for. These wardrobes, put a couple of them in here, something like that. And then we do one, copy that. You can extend this wall here. Once again, rough, rough, rough. That is the idea here, not to put too much time, because you have the architects and they are doing the work that we want them to do. Next thing, sliding door is what we talked about. It's not optical, it's not, op, op, it's not optical, it's not optimal. It's not as flowy just to walk with the door and close it. But we think that in this case, that might be what we need to do. We're gonna, we're gonna draw in our regular door from the beginning, but we'll see what we're doing later. We do have 
the walkthrough closet here that is possibly if you want to in the future to add a door so if you want to shut that off completely from the bedroom we want to do get some sort of shelving into this section here so the plan of that is to go down a bit here on this line 350 in get the majority of the wardrobe And also what I see now is that this edge here, when you come in, this is not gonna be looking super, super nice. Because that would be that when you're coming in, you will see both uh, this ending of the wall, like the wall is coming out like this, but you will also see like the edge going in and then a cabinet sticking out. For me, that's a bit too much that's happening. So I would move this one. So the wardrobe is gonna be like that. So when you come in, it's just one flat surface. It's just one wall that goes around. Then when you come in a bit and you go around, then there you will see that it's actually, actually a wardrobe there, a cabinet. You're just gonna make things look a bit more cleaner. You're just gonna do the wash basin. And we would love to be able to do a double wash basin. So it's gonna be 1,800. We wanna do a little fillet and fillet we can choose a radius and let's go with 250 this one you can see what you think looks good but a bit of roundness on the cabinet would be really really nice because then it's like even if it's a bit tighter space you have no sharp edges coming straight out mirror we can move and we can extend we're making that matching up as a double i always love big mirrors it's something that i just go crazy about i don't know why it just feels like it's easy adding so much to a space once again we can mirror it so we get exactly on the same side i'm going to group this one now that i set how it's going to be because when you're grouping it you don't need to mark all of the different lines that it's within it you just need to hover above it in any line and it will take the whole group and we're moving it into the bathroom. We have created a separate door with a, still the transportation hallway, the corridor down to it, which leads into a little bit of mysterious stuff. And we have coming into bedroom, you don't see too much wardrobes. You see the bed, you're gonna see some windows, the benches over here, the view. And then we come into the wardrobes, we walk through the wardrobe. So it works two ways. Either you are in the bedroom and you want to use the wardrobe, you can use the wardrobe. But there can also be someone in the bathroom, but someone can still be outside here taking a shower, which means that you can still use toilet and shower at the same time without being interfering with each other. You can also do it the other way. Let's say you are in the, we are out in the pool area. It's time for dinner. Walk, so we're coming up from the pool here. We walk around the deck. We come into the outdoor shower, coming inside to AC, and we can access to do makeup, to all of this stuff, and we can also access straight to the wardrobe, which means that then when we're done, we're coming out to the wardrobe, into the bedroom area, out towards the living area, meeting up with all the friends, and then go down to the beach club, which we think is really, really good. So that is the concept of what we want to create in this space. And I think for this time, I'm gonna print this as a PDF. I will do comments on each section so they get some sort of like text and information about it, not only just seeing the drawings. And then we'll obviously have a meeting as well. But then we can start working with that. We are waiting to get some proper renderings of the house. And then hopefully one more revision can be done and then it's time to go to Lombok once again. Me and Benjamin are super excited to go back to Lombok, uh, especially now we have a bit more like texture and things of how the house is actually gonna look and feel. So then we can go to the lot, we can walk around a bit more and just, okay, this is exactly what we're looking for, and this and this and this. Next video is gonna be me and Benjamin here in Stockholm. We're gonna go through the renderings that the artists have promised to send over to us. Until next time, take care and I, Hope that you guys want to continue to follow along this trip and see every little bit of the project. 